Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply making money online video training designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of making some good money over the web. I'm very excited to have you here and I know this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate making money online in the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos organized into five sections. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Section 1. Basics of Making Money Online In videos 1 through 4, we'll talk about what's making money online all about, why you should make money online, what are the most common ways to make money online, and what you need to make money online. Section 2. Easy Ways to Make Money Online In videos 5 through 7, we'll talk about Making easy money online by taking surveys. Making easy money online by testing stuff. And making easy money online by performing easy tasks. Section 3. Advanced Ways to Make Money Online In videos 8 through 11, we'll talk about blogging, freelancing, email marketing, and webinar marketing. Section 4. Establishing an Online Business Empire In videos 12 through 16, we'll talk about info product launching, software product launching, creating and selling high-ticket products, establishing an online business empire with Fiverr, and launching your coaching program. Section 5, Additional Tips to Consider. In videos 17 through 20, we'll talk about do's to apply, don'ts to avoid, premium tools and services to consider, and shocking case studies. Well, it's time for you to start making some good money online. I know you'll love this training. Welcome to Section 1 of our Make Money Online video training. In this section, we'll talk about what's making money online all about, why you should make money online, what are the most common ways to make money online, and what you need to make money online. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. What's making money online all about? Money has become the foundation for all deeds on our planet, and man has found innumerable ways to earn these dollars and pound notes for himself. One of the ways to make money where you don't need to invest huge amounts of it is through the biggest revelation of this century, the Internet. With the horizons of the Internet spreading far and wide, the ways in which you can earn money have become enormous. What making money online actually means One of the key concepts to understand how to make money online is learning the deep meaning of the subject. Making money online is a very wide concept, and it is a young industry with not many people understanding it. Remember, when you understand a concept, you'll succeed in that area. Understanding what it is will help you become a successful marketer and entrepreneur. Making money online can represent a variety of things. It can be as simple as filling out surveys for points on a site which converts into real-life items. Out of this variety of jobs, one thing is in common. The output of your input is money or something of value. Can you make money online as a service provider? The benefits of the Internet go beyond searching for information needed for any desired topic. People remain in touch with each other through social media sites, and countless businesses rely on the web to succeed. Most manufacturers and service providers can be reached through the net. The Internet has facilitated quick and efficient communications while offering many channels for entertainment. Apart from these well-known benefits, the net is also being exploited for making money online. Many professionals claim to survive with the money generated through online sources. Students are also making money through the net. In fact, there are hundreds of ways to make money by working online. Money can be made online through the rendering of services like article writing, affiliate marketing, owning a website or blog, and becoming a virtual assistant for an online company. Through these services, dollars can be made online. However, making money has never been easy, and that remains valid for online money too. One also needs to be aware of the different available opportunities for making money through the Internet and recognize the most suitable one. Can you make money online as a business owner? Another way for online money making includes your knowledge of business. 
The internet is the most efficient and easy way of buying and selling when owning a store at online marketplaces like Amazon, eBay, Fiverr, and so on. eBay is very popular today, and it is one of the largest marketplaces online. On eBay, you can not only buy, but also sell. You can use this site for buying things at lower prices and selling them for higher prices to earn profits. With online sales continuously on the rise, selling products to web shoppers is a worthwhile path to follow for business purposes. Can you make money online as a regular online user? Being a regular online user creates an opportunity for your knowledge to make you money through the use of the Internet. Money can be made through provisions of professional and specialized observations based on your field of expertise. Here you can choose whether you want to work solely online or combine face-to-face -face services with your digital ones. Why You Should Make Money Online Internet technology has changed our lives forever. It has opened up unlimited opportunities to market our products, services, and information. Also, it has become the new frontier for finding ways to earn money. We live in a world where the economy is often a little unsettled, to say the least, and unemployment is soaring in many areas. This is all the more reason why you should think about part-time online income from home. Awesome Benefits Even if you have a full-time job, earning money online can be an extra income option. There are many reasons why you should make money online. Work from home. There is nothing better than working from home. You can avoid heavy traffic each morning while not wasting money on gas. Plus, not having to set the alarm is a good feeling as well. Making your own hours allows you to go to work whenever you feel. This means you can go out with friends on a weeknight without feeling too tired the next day. People who know you will be jealous of the fact that your commute is nothing more than going downstairs after you wake up. Online revenue can be passive. You don't have to put in any work to see results necessarily. Writers can post an article once and get paid for the rest of their lives. Bloggers can get paid through advertising revenue. Generating this passive revenue means you don't have to work for your money. You could pay for a vacation, send your kids to college, or retire early thanks to this new revenue source. Freedom to work anywhere at any time. This is the first and most important thing to consider when the idea to start earning money from the Internet pops into your head. The ability to take your work with you anywhere matters a lot, because you will be able to meet deadlines and satisfy your customers. The freedom for you to work anywhere also makes the work fun and less stressful, instead of sitting in an office in one particular spot overworking yourself. Deal with whomever you want. You can choose who you want to work with when you work online. Picking your clients allows you to develop relationships with people who share your vision. Work is a lot more fun when you are working on things that matter to you. Writing about your favorite cause is more fun than spending your day ringing up groceries. Also, not having a boss to contend with is a huge relief. Most online work is either freelance or independent contractor work. Broaden your horizons. For most people, making money online and working from home is a brand new field. There is so much to learn, and as your knowledge grows, your income increases. I remember some people saying that making money online drove them to learn more about the Internet and marketing. From simple PTC to running their own site, and from Google AdSense to selling ClickBank products, it involves so many things that if only people would learn more, they could make more from the Internet. Way of Entertainment Some people only see making money online as a way of relaxing and entertaining themselves. To them, it's like browsing YouTube videos and reading articles. As a matter of fact, almost everything you do on the Internet can make you money, such as forum posting, video uploading, writing articles, searching, sharing files, surfing, etc. Strengthen your feeling of achievement. If you get your first reward, it will encourage you to learn more. You can achieve your goal if you are encouraged. Since making online income is not as easy as it sounds, it is not something everyone can achieve. If you are already making money from your online activities, you are one step ahead of the pack. Use your business plans. Use your business experience to run things your way. No one is going to tell you that your marketing plan won't work. Nobody is going to stop you from pursuing a project because of office politics. You can expand into new markets, attract new clients, and create your own company culture. 
Running your own online business helps you hone your leadership skills without getting penalized for making mistakes. Shocking Facts and Figures There are 3,525,744,904 Internet users in the world today. There are 1,123,185,446 total number of websites today. Digital interactions influenced retail sales to the tune of $2.2 trillion in 2015. 40% of global Internet users have bought products or goods online. A single second of delay in your website loading time can result in a 7% loss in conversion, and 40% of web users will abandon a website if it takes longer than 3 seconds to load. Worldwide B2C e-commerce sales reached $1.7 trillion in 2015, and it is estimated to reach $2.35 trillion by 2018. 8 out of 10 consumers will shop online if offered free shipping. Personalized recommendations can increase conversion rates by up to 5.5 times. An increase in site speed from 8 to 2 seconds can boost your conversion rate by 74%. E-commerce sales from social media grew by 202% in 2014 and is expected to further increase. Mobile advertising spend is projected to account for 60.4% of all digital advertising spend by 2016 and 72.2% of all digital advertising spend by 2019. Spending on digital marketing is projected to increase by 12% to 15% on average. Social media's share of the total marketing budget will grow from 10% in 2015 to 14% this year, while spending on offline advertising will fall 2%. After SEM, online display advertising, banner ads and retargeting, capture the biggest share of online spending at 34%, representing roughly 10% of total marketing budgets. The average person now spends more time online than with TV and all other media, newspapers, magazines, etc. combined. Total spending on internet advertising is predicted to grow 12.9% next year. The internet will become the largest medium for advertising in 2016, Ahead of TV. Which are the most common ways to make money online? There are thousands of ways to make money online. The opportunities on the web are so numerous, yet most people struggle to make any money from the Internet. This has led to a belief in a growing number of people who think it is just too hard to make money online from home. The reality is that it can be easy to make money online if you know how and are willing to put in the work. The first method of making money online is self-explanatory. Starting a blog. Blogging mainly comprises of writing posts, publishing posts, and maintaining the blog. One of the surest ways to make passive income online is to create a website or blog. You may need to invest in a web host if you get serious about this, but there are some free hosting sites that will allow you to use this money-making opportunity as well. To make money from advertising, your visitors must click on one of the advertising links. In addition to ad revenue, you can advertise on your site with affiliate partners who will pay you when one of your visitors clicks on the link and signs up for the advertiser's services. You will only get paid by the affiliate if a transaction is completed. Taking Surveys there are sites that can help you make anywhere from pocket change to a full income. These are free to join paid survey sites where you take surveys for a small payback. If you get other members to join under you, then you will get a percentage of their earnings too. This is how you make real money. Some people have reported verifiable earnings of around $1,800 per month this way. Downloading and Installing Apps A lot of companies, including Google, pay you for installing their apps. Moreover, you get paid for each month the apps are installed on your phone. Some of these sites include Shop Tracker and Mobile Expression. Review Stuff You can turn this into an opportunity to earn an income, and one way to do it would be by writing reviews for various products and getting paid for it. Posting and writing a review can earn you anywhere between $5 and $50 per review based on the requirements. Yelp and Review Me can give you some special invites. Testing Websites These involve visiting a specific website and performing an exact function on the website. 
While you are performing the task, your screen is being recorded to track your mouse movement and clicks. Also, your voice is recorded as you verbalize your steps on the website. You can earn about $10 for about 10 to 20 minutes of website testing. Signing up for gift cards. This involves earning free cash and gift cards for things you do online every day. Ebates gives you a $10 gift card when you sign up and earn your first cash back refund. It's great for online shoppers. You can redeem your points for gift cards to your favorite stores, such as Amazon.com and Walmart, or redeem your points for cash through PayPal. It's easy and fun. Get paid for being healthy. Being healthy already has so many benefits, but you can also get paid for being healthy. The Health App Achievement gives you points for being healthy and doing things like walking, tracking your food, or taking health surveys. You can earn points which can be redeemed for cash or Amazon gift cards. For every 10,000 points, you earn $10, and there is no limit on your earnings. Become a Freelancer Freelancing is a time-honored way for writers and graphic designers to make money. It's not uncommon for administrative assistants, accountants, computer programmers, and other professionals to also find freelance opportunities. Look at niche job sites such as Upwork, Guru, and Fiverr. If you're a super speedy typist, have a good ear and write well, you might be cut out for transcription work. Transcribers provide closed captioning for films and TV shows and written transcripts of academic presentations and focus groups. Virtual Assistant A virtual assistant is self-employed and provides professional administrative or technical assistance to clients remotely from a home office. Becoming a virtual assistant can be a life-changing experience if you have strong administrative skills, are organized, capable of working with deadlines, and would like to run a business from home. Virtual assistants, VAs, can do everything from checking emails and making travel plans to handling internet research or working for their small business. High-end earners can command $30 to $100 an hour. Some reputable sites for virtual assistants are Zirtual and Upwork. Tutoring. Tutoring Services is a centralized academic online support service consisting of peer-facilitated learning experiences for undergraduates interested in requesting or becoming a tutor for students. Choose your schedule if you have some imperative routine tasks or go for online tutoring and earn $20 per hour on Chegg Tutors. Rate Pizzas. Pizza is a yeasted flatbread topped with tomato sauce, cheese, and other items all baked in an oven. Many companies pay you for rating local pizza shops. You just have to get a login for TrendSource to rate the place on the quality of their pizza and note their delivery time. For this, you can get $5 for rating a pizza. Work for Amazon Have you heard of Amazon Mechanical Turk? Unlike other online sites that look for contract help, the Amazon Mechanical Turk service offers easy-to-accomplish tasks that can be completed by almost anyone with a computer. These are services that require human interaction. You can work from home, have flexible hours, and get paid by one of the world's largest retailers. Selling Lesson Plans This involves the online selling of your lesson plans, especially to new teachers. Teachers Pay Teachers is a marketplace for educators where you can sell and share your teaching resources. Maintaining Social Media Accounts There are more money-making opportunities on social media than you might realize. Maintaining social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, in fact, can be quite lucrative and high-paying. Maintaining fan pages. Facebook pages are the biggest source of earning money online. You can rapidly earn with Facebook fan pages, likes, and groups. You can also sell products there for earning money as an affiliate marketer. Hence, you can earn money by promoting other people's products on your page. Selling an ebook. If you enjoy writing, then publishing your ebook can be a great way to earn money. The marketing of ebooks generates more online sales. Websites like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo all have self-publishing services, which means getting your ebook published isn't as difficult as you might think. In fact, it's fairly easy. Selling audiobooks. It's no secret that downloadable audiobook sales have exploded on the web. Audiobooks could overtake printed books as a top-selling product line on the web. Selling audiobooks is lucrative because you can earn $50 to $500 per month. Selling apps. Selling an app has never been simpler. Start an app auction for $9 with Flippa and reach out to a niche audience of motivated international app buyers in minutes. Selling apps online 
can earn you money monthly. Selling your stuff. These days, there's plenty of free online marketplaces available, and an online forum isn't all that difficult to start. Once you've managed to get an active community together, you can quickly begin earning money by selling your stuff, and the workload isn't all that great. Working for work-at-home companies. Many online companies recruit virtual call center agents, call center managers, and human resource professionals to work at home, as well as a few tech jobs. Virtual call center agents, the largest segment of home-based workers, are employees and may work full-time or part-time for an hourly wage. Amazon's home-based workers are typically employed during seasonal holidays. What do you need to make money online? To make things simple, there are four different things you need to have ready in order to make money online. A product or service, online presence, a payment processor, and advertising. Product or service. A business must have a product or service to offer. What the product or service will be is very important, so take some time to choose wisely. There are some products or services, like writing skills or selling products, that are more easily marketable over the internet than others. If you do not have a product of your own but want to engage in business online, one commendable idea is to enlist in an affiliate program. By affiliating with other companies, you become an associate of an established online merchandiser, and you market their products in return for a commission. You can earn quite good money doing this. Thousands of internet marketers are flourishing by doing affiliate marketing. It's a good way to be introduced to the world of e-commerce without needing to make a significant investment in resources. Creating an online presence. A website or a blog. All businesses, no matter how small, should have a website. It can be extremely basic, but it should contain the fundamental information your customers need. You can't do without a website if your plans include selling products and services online. Your website will act as your online store. It is where potential customers can view photos of your stuff, read descriptions, and ask questions regarding the products. Social media is an important part of your online presence that improves your chances of generating additional revenue and building customer loyalty. It allows customers, potential customers, and other interested parties to engage easily via a channel that plays an important role in their everyday lives. Although not every social media channel will be relevant to each business, it's worth looking into your options. For example, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, and Tumblr will serve a purpose for almost any business. Creating an email account is an expensive yet effective option. It is a great way to build your brand and look more professional to the outside world. Using a company-branded email address like yournameatyourcompany.com bodes well. 80% of consumers surveyed said they would trust a company-branded email address more so than a free email address. Payment Processor PayPal is the world's most widely used payment system. PayPal payments are made using a user's existing account or with a credit card. Money can be sent directly to an email address, thus promoting the users to sign up for a new PayPal account. In addition to taking payments, PayPal also allows its users to send money through the service, which is a feature that only a few payment solutions provide. Google Checkout is Google's answer to PayPal. Google Checkout allows users to pay for goods and services through an account connected to their Google profile. The major benefit that Google Checkout has over the competition is that millions of Internet users use Google for other services. Making a purchase through Checkout is a simpler process. WePay is a payment processor that allows internet merchants to accept credit cards and bank account payments online. WePay seems to be focused on the individual user and has recently added e-store pages to their service to help their customers conveniently take payments through their service. Advertising Advertising is all about getting your business in front of a potential customer who is interested in your product or service. Today, more small organizations are coming online to increase sales, gain support, and reach a rapidly growing market. There are some different ways in which a website can get itself advertised on the web. There are contextual ads on search engine results in pages, banner ads, rich media ads, social network advertising, online classified advertising, integrated pop-ups on a visited site, advertising networks, and email marketing, including email spam.
Welcome to section two of our Make Money Online video training. In this section, we'll talk about making easy money online by taking surveys, making easy money online by testing stuff, and making easy money online by performing easy tasks. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Making easy money online by taking surveys. Surveys are an excellent tool for sourcing vital information directly from a wide audience with ease and convenience. Companies often use surveys to gain a deeper understanding of their customers' tastes and opinions. For a few minutes of form filling, you can make a couple of points which is paid as cash or rewards. You can bag up to £3 or $5 for some surveys at websites like SurveyJunkie.com. SurveyJunkie, located online at SurveyJunkie.com, is a website which offers their members the ability to participate in various forms of market research through a variety of companies to earn money from home. Their website says that with them, you can receive surveys earning between $2 and $75 each, as well as participate in focus groups at up to $120 an hour, and evaluate new products and trials, which allow you to keep the products for free. Swagbucks.com Swagbucks is the web's leading rewards program that gives its over 19 million members gift cards for their everyday online activities like taking a survey. Earn points when you shop at your favorite retailers, watch entertaining videos, search the web, answer surveys, and find great deals. OneOpinion.com OneOpinion is a fun and simple paid survey site, rewarding you for sharing your opinion with leading market research companies. OneOpinion pays through PayPal for each survey. ACOP.com American Consumer Opinion, found at ACOP.com, is a survey panel created by Decision Analyst. Membership in American Consumer Opinion is free. You'll never have to pay any money to be a member. Incentives at ACOP range in value from 100 to 5,000 points per survey or research project, depending on the time it takes. A point equals a penny. PineconeResearch.com Pinecone Research is a trusted leader in gathering the opinions of consumers nationwide. Pinecone Research is one of the best websites for paid surveys. Pinecone Research pays members $3 per survey with no disqualifications, but getting in isn't always easy. Learn why Pinecone makes it hard to get in and why it's worth trying. PaidSurveys.com Paid Surveys is a 100% free survey site connecting you with top market research companies that need to hear your opinion. For taking a survey at PaidSurvey.com, you can earn up to £300 per month, paid directly into your PayPal account. OpinionOutpost.com Opinion Outpost Surveys, found at OpinionOutpost.com, is a market research and survey company where you can make a little money giving your opinions on products and services by filling out surveys. By taking Opinion Outpost Surveys, you accumulate points, and the basic point structure is 10 points for $1 in the United States. You get more points for doing more surveys, and you must accumulate 50 points, $5, to get paid. YouGov.com YouGov is the authoritative measure of public opinion and consumer behavior. Each survey you take will earn you between .5 pounds and 3 pounds, depending on the content. As a bonus, you get 1 pound just for signing up. The minimum payout is 50 pounds. ProductReportCard.com Product Report Card is a site that allows you to sign up to receive paid survey invitations via email. It takes less than five minutes to sign up, and it's 100% free. The money you can earn from setting up your profiles at Product Report Card ranges from $0.25 cents to $5. CashCrate.com CashCrate is recognized as a free site that will get you paid. Advertisers work with CashCrate to provide them with individuals to test out new services and products using simple online surveys. At CashCrate, you're going to get paid for your opinion. It does not get any easier than that to make money online. Once you reach $20, you'll receive your payment in the next 30 days. Vindale.com Vindale Research is an online company that takes an interesting approach to market research and online surveys, and the membership is 100% free. They advertise payouts of $5 to $75, a rate considerably higher than most competitors, and state that customers will be evaluating products and services. SurveyQueen.com SurveyQueen is a fast, easy, and smart way for you to get paid for sharing your opinion. Surveys are paying up to $75. Join Earning Station today and start earning rewards by taking surveys and completing offers.
making easy money online by testing stuff. Over the years, product testing has been one of the most genuine ways to make money from home. There are many benefits of working from home, including not having to commute, working on your schedule, and so much more. There are a variety of ways to make money from home, with one of them being testing free products. Some companies will send you sample products, while others will send full-sized ones, which you will test every month and then pay you for giving them your thoughts on the products. These online testing companies include UserTesting.com UserTesting.com is a website that hires regular internet users to test websites and record their experiences. User testing pays $10 via PayPal for every 20-minute video you complete to visit websites or apps, complete a set of tasks, and speak your thoughts aloud. EnrollApp.com EnrollApp is a company that fits into a bit of a cliché phrase, making the web a better place for everyone. EnrollApp was created to help developers see what users expect from a website in certain niches. EnrollApp pays a certain amount of money for every test you perform. On their website, you can launch a demo test and get paid via PayPal once your balance reaches just $1. TestingTime.com Testing Time is open to global residents that hire and pay individuals to test digital products via Skype. You can earn up to €50 Euro per study. Each study is conducted via Skype and usually takes 30 to 90 minutes of time. Once the study is completed, you'll get paid within 5 to 10 days via PayPal. Testbirds.com Testbirds is a company that pays you to test software like websites, apps, games, etc. before they are released. On average, you are paid around 10 euros for every hour that you are testing, as well as around 1 to 5 euros for each bug you find while testing. TryMyUI.com TryMyUI keeps it simple. You get paid for a website or app test. Earn $10 for 15 to 20 minutes of your time, and payments are made bi-weekly via PayPal. To become part of the TryMyUI team, sign up for an account. Userlytics.com Userlytics is a website that pays you for providing feedback on websites, applications, prototypes, concepts, and more. To apply, register for an account, and then wait for an invite to complete an assignment. Once you've completed your assignment, you'll be paid $10 per task via PayPal. Userfield.com Userfield.com is a test website that allows you to talk about your thoughts on various websites. You get paid $10 for the task on websites. To become a website tester, register for an account, and take a sample test. Once your sample is approved, you'll start getting assignments by email. Good testers can earn $100 to $200 per week, and payments are made via PayPal at the end of each week. Validately.com Validately hires testers to complete mobile and website tests for companies. At the completion of a 5-minute test, you get paid $5. Live tests where you speak via phone and share a screen with a moderator pay a minimum of $25 for 30 minutes. Payments are made via PayPal within 5 business days of the test. WhatUsersDo.com WhatUsersDo.com is an internet-based usability testing and website review service that pays to give feedback on clients' websites. Once you've been approved, you'll receive assignments via email. Each test takes about 20 minutes to complete and pays £8, or around $12.50. Payments are made via PayPal on the 25th day of each month. UserZoom.com UserZoom is a company that conducts website usability tests for desktop and mobile platforms. Tests pay an average of 5 to $10 depending on the complexity of the study. Most tests take between 10 and 20 minutes to complete, and payments are made via PayPal 10 to 14 business days after the completion of the study. Betafamily.com Betafamily is a crowd testing community for beta testing of iOS and Android applications. Betafamily pays once you earn about $50, and the payment is processed within 30 days. Making Easy Money Online by Performing Easy Tasks Making money by doing simple online tasks is now possible with the increase of people seeking assistance through the Internet. The tasks that need to be completed are quite simple. A short task is any job or assignment that can be completed in a short amount of time. The tasks that can be completed vary greatly in nature, as does the pay. 
The reason this is such a great opportunity for moms is that the tasks can be completed at any time, and the majority of short tasks don't require moms to be on the phone, which requires a quiet household. MTurk.com Mechanical Turk is a web service that provides an on-demand, scalable human workforce to complete jobs that humans can do better than computers. For example, recognizing objects and photos. MTurk workers earn somewhere between $3 and $3.25 per hour of work. Vigil Vigil is a loyalty program for television that gives people real rewards for checking into the television shows they're watching. Currently available for Apple iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, Vigil automatically identifies what television shows users are watching and awards them points when they check in. Vigil users can redeem their points in the app's rewards catalog for items such as movie tickets, music, and gift cards. Fronto.co Fronto is the world's first mobile lock screen media, which displays curated articles, hot new apps, deals, and promos to mobile users through the everyday lock screen in a perfectly seamless way. By simply waking up your phone, you can read trending articles, earn rewards, download coupons, and learn about new promotional deals. Fronto offers Amazon.com gift card or PayPal payout. You just go to the Redeem gift card shop to buy an Amazon.com gift card. Cosign.co Cosign is the first app to make products in your photos ready to buy, turning your social media followers into customers and your style into a way to earn cash rewards. Cosign is the best way to earn rewards for sharing your style with friends and followers. You get cash each time a follower shops directly from your photos. Use the Cosign app to track image earnings and cash out at your convenience. AdMimsy.com AdMimsy is a site for earning money online. Money is made via the viewing of ads, and you'll get paid up to $0.02 cents per ad view. You also get paid up to $0.01 cent for every ad your referrals view. MobiApp.com The Mobi app is an app that you can download to your iPhone or Android to get paid to mystery shop by basically performing the simple task of just eating out and giving feedback. Mobi is a first-of-its-kind app that pays you to do these tasks. It turns just about anyone with an iPhone or Android into a mystery shopper who can earn money or rewards. Each 100-point mission translates to $1, and there is no limit to the amount of missions users can claim. Lucktastic.com Lucktastic is an instant win scratch-off mobile app game in which its users have a chance to win tokens or even cash by performing a simple task, depending on the offer for that particular scratch-off card. PackedApp.com Packed is the most effective way to keep your fitness and weight loss resolutions. Earn cash for staying active. Packed will motivate you to hit your health goals week to week by setting your exercise and healthy eating goals each week. Increase your fitness level and notifies you of your cash earnings each week. Ibotta.com Ibotta is an app for smartphones that contains many different money-saving offers for popular products. To get paid by Ibotta, you have to redeem offers totaling $5 or more and Ibotta will let you transfer your earnings directly to your PayPal account. ReceiptHog.com ReceiptHog is a mobile app that rewards users for snapping pictures of their grocery receipts. For each receipt you upload, you'll earn coins which can be redeemed for cash. ReceiptHog is extremely easy to use. It allows you to earn 10 coins per receipt uploaded. Welcome to section 3 of our Make Money Online video training. In this section we'll talk about blogging, freelancing, email marketing, and webinar marketing. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Blogging. The blog is an abbreviated version of weblog, which is a term used to describe websites that maintain an ongoing chronicle of information. Blogging is simply the act of journaling online, either with a purpose or without. It is the process of sharing or reaching out and breaking down cultural and ideological divides. Many blogs focus on a particular topic, such as web design, home decor, sports, or mobile technology. Some are more eclectic, presenting links to all types of other sites, and others are more like personal journals, presenting the author's daily life and thoughts. Why you should blog. It creates opportunities. 
The most important reason to start a blog is that it creates endless opportunities for its owner. Whether it be in the form of friendship, financial gain, or self-growth, blogging puts your personality out there for the world and gets you noticed in a unique way. Blogging has huge financial advantages. You don't need to make money to enjoy blogging. In fact, sometimes making money from your blog can start to distract you from the joy that you found in the first place. That being said, whether you make $20 a year or $20,000 a year, it's still pretty nice to have a hobby that pays you. Also, advertising on your blog can help you financially, as can accepting sponsors if you're reviewing products. Ultimately, your blog can lead to a career in blogging, which may seem far off from when you started, but it's becoming far more acceptable today. Blogging is great writing experience. Blogging is the best way to show your writing is current and you're writing regularly. As soon as you've created your first post, you're officially published on the internet and can promote yourself to companies far more easily by linking your blog than showing outdated articles. It allows for the potential of self-growth. Broadcasting yourself online allows time for reflection and perspective. You'll be able to look back at past work and ideas. You can learn from them by promoting not only a form of diary entry, but also the idea of self-growth. By placing your ideas into a public forum, it allows your creativity to grow, as well as your confidence and ambitions. It serves as a personal journal. Blogging serves many of the same roles as a personal journal. It trains us to be observant and gives weight to the personal growth that we are experiencing. It trains our minds to track life and articulate the changes we are experiencing. Your blog becomes a digital record of your life that is saved in the cloud. As a result, it can never be lost, stolen, or destroyed in a fire. Steps in setting up a blog Decide your reasons for starting a blog. The first thing to consider is the topic you will write about in your blog. You may want to do a little bit of keyword research when deciding on a topic. If you already have a business, then your blog can easily be related to your online business. However, you can narrow your blog niche further if you wish. Choosing a blogging platform. This is the most daunting part of how to start a blog, because there are many blogging platforms to choose from. There are two differences when choosing a platform, and that is whether or not you want to make money from it or not. There are sites like WordPress.com and Blogger.com which you can check out, but WordPress is by far the most popular. This is because they offer both a free platform and a self-hosted platform that is already used by millions. Choose a domain name. Ideally, you want your topic keywords to be included in your domain name. If you have to use multiple words in your name, try to limit it to three at the most. Also, try to make sure the name is very easy for people to remember. Set up your web hosting. Web hosting is connecting your domain to the internet. You are effectively renting space on the World Wide Web and allowing people to have access to your blog. Write your first blog post. Once you've set up your theme and written an about page introducing yourself and what your blog is about, then it's time to write your first blog post. Here are some tips on how to write the perfect blog post. Write eye-catching titles and headlines. Use an engaging image. Use proper post segmentation and use a call to action to each post. How do you make money with blogging? There are many ways that you can make money with your blog and you're only limited by your imagination. You should use as many ways as possible without turning your blog into a spam blog. Affiliate ads. One of the best ways to monetize your blog is with affiliate ads. These should be ads that are related to the content which you have on your blog, because this will ensure a higher click-through rate. No matter what niche or market you're in, you'll always be able to find a suitable affiliate program to promote. Other ads like Google AdSense, Yahoo Ads, and Content Ads are also great ads to place on your blog. Selling stuff. Selling stuff is another great way to make money. These could be digital products, which your readers can download instantly, or they can be physical products that you'll need to ship. If you do not have your own products, you can always promote products that you are affiliated with by writing product reviews. Another way you can obtain products is by using drop shipping. However, the amount of money you can make with drop shipping is quite small, so you may be better off by sticking with affiliate marketing. Promoting your other sites. Many bloggers simply use their blogs to generate traffic and sales for their other sites. However, you want to be careful that you do not overload the linking to one particular site. The more sites you link to, the less likely your blog will be deemed as a spam blog. Conclusion Blogging can generate a stable income, but it can take a while to generate sufficient traffic. 
It is possible to make a living from blogging. You have to be patient and determined to be a successful blogger. Others have done it, and you can too. If you have a passion in an area, blog about it. You never know who will be reading that article. If you want to sell your skills, you can create a personal blog and market yourself. Blogging helps you to connect with clients all over the world. Freelancing Working independently to earn a living while continuously making dedicated efforts to achieve preset goals is known as freelancing. A freelancer is an individual who earns money on a per-task basis, usually for one-time or short-term work. A freelancer is not an employee of a firm and therefore may be hired to complete different jobs concurrently by various individuals or firms unless contractually specified to work exclusively until a particular project is completed. How to get started as a freelancer. Make decisions on the common freelancing jobs like writing, web design, graphic design, photography, marketing, social media management, and others. Determine your target market. Create an online portfolio. Set your prices to cover your overhead, time to do the work as well as to earn a living, and start reaching out to find clients. Use your network to help you connect with potential clients. Finding jobs as a freelancer. Fiverr.com. Fiverr is a website that allows users to post their work or gigs for $5. Anything for $5. That is what Fiverr.com is all about. And there is no wonder that thousands are being added as sellers and buyers every day. Fiverr is a huge compilation of workers offering every type of freelancing service. Fiverr started in early 2010 and became so popular that millions of users started using Fiverr to sell or buy services. How Fiverr Works To create an account on Fiverr is free. List the service or product you want to sell. This listing is referred to as a gig. It contains all the details of what products or services you would like to offer, how the buyer will receive it, how many days it will take you to process an order, and much more. Make your gig live and wait for your first order to come. Once you receive an order, you can communicate with the buyer via Fiverr. If you want any clarification, ask the buyer. Once this is done, you need to start processing the order. Get it completed and send it to the buyer. Once the buyer receives and approves his order, your order is marked as complete, and Fiverr will credit your payment to your account. 14 days after your order has been marked as complete, you can withdraw the funds from your Fiverr account. How to make money using Fiverr Use a catchy, keyword-rich title. Once you have your gigs up and running and are making some decent money, you can start outsourcing your work for pennies on the dollar. For instance, set up an ebook cover design gig and have your hired help do all the work. Even after you pay your employee, you should still make a profit. This is a great way to focus on other money making activities such as creating new gigs. Find a successful gig and offer similar services, but include a free bonus. Giving the client a guide to teach them the skills that you are providing will give the customer more bang for their buck. Every time you learn a new skill, offer to sell it on Fiverr. You can adjust your content depending on how much traffic you are receiving. Freelancer.com Freelancer is a marketplace where employers and employees can find each other. The site allows employers to post work to be done. Anyone is able to offer quotes to complete the project, upon which the employer can award the work. At Freelancer, you can make money from freelancing services, content writing, translating, graphic designing, programming, and other categories as well. Freelancer takes a 10% fee, which can be reduced with a paid monthly membership with a minimum fee of $5. How to make money from Freelancer.com The moment you sign up, you'll have an account at Freelancer. You are free to start making money online by browsing projects by category or by title. You can search the projects you are interested in and the ones that match your experience and fields of interest. Then, considering the employer's requirements, you place your bid on different projects, depending on the minimum and maximum amount of money offered by the employer. Making money from Freelancer can be easier when you upgrade your membership. Beyond the free membership, there is the basic one, which enables you to place 50 bids per month and select up to 30 categories of skills.
Then there is the standard membership, offering you 150 bits monthly, with an option of 60 skills selection. The higher you upgrade your membership, the more chance you have to make money online from Freelancer. The premium membership allows you 500 bits every month and enables you to choose 100 different types of skills for your profile, which also means that your chances of being awarded projects are increased. Guru.com Guru operates as a platform to match up outsourced service providers with people in need of their services. Guru has over 100 categories that you can choose from when submitting outsourced tasks and campaigns. Here's how it works. As an employer, you submit your job descriptions and specs. Outsourcers in the category you specified read your project description and can bid on the task. You receive their bids and can then respond through Guru's messaging system or take the conversation to your personal email or call. Once you have reached an agreement with a provider, you can have them submit an invoice or escrow for the service, along with delivery dates that coincide with payment being released. Payment is secure using SafePay. The big upside of Guru is that you can receive bids from different sources. Freelance individuals, as well as companies, will respond to your projects, and you can get a good idea of the going rate for the service you need. There are two kinds of Guru freelancers. Free members don't pay a fee and can only bid on a few projects. These are usually individuals with the most risk, but will likely have the lowest rates to complete your project. There are also paid members who pay a small annual fee and can bid on a large number of projects. These are typically companies or very successful individuals that focus on a particular task and will have higher rates, but also have the feedback and references to back them up. PeoplePerHour.com PeoplePerHour is a UK-based website that enables users to earn money online by advertising freelance opportunities for both buyers and sellers. Building up a profile Building up a profile means to build your profile to such an extent that the buyers can find you easily and offer you a job. To build a profile, you need to fill it up with all the information that you can gather related to your freelance career. People per hour has a ranking algorithm that ranks your profile. The better the rank, the more chance you'll have for buyers to find your profile and offer you a job. Propose directly. PeoplePerHour.com also allows the sellers to send direct proposals to buyers on a job that is listed. To do that, you need to search for your relevant jobs on a daily basis and start sending proposals to the ones you think you can complete easily. Hourlies Hourlies is a unique feature that PeoplePerHour.com has introduced for sellers. Hourlies are jobs that are posted by the sellers based on their skills. Costs and Fees With your free membership, you can bid on up to 15 jobs per month. Although it's not impossible to get started this way, most new freelancers will find they need to bid on more than 15 jobs each week. People per hour does allow you to purchase additional bids at the cost of $6.50 for just five bids. How you get paid. PeoplePerHour.com pays sellers through a PayPal or bank account. To withdraw your earnings, you have to go to the payment section and use the withdraw funds link. Searchual.com Searchual is a privately held American company that provides virtual assistant services to professionals, entrepreneurs, and small corporate teams. How it works. Zirtual tasks typically fall into three main categories which include research, reservations, and scheduling. Their clients are mostly busy professionals who are in need of more free time and as a Zirtual assistant, you can provide that for them. Payment. Virtual assistants are paid hourly by Zirtual. Required skills. Prompt responses to clients' questions and requests. Internet savvy. Strong internet research skills and high-speed internet connection. Strong communication and problem-solving skills. Solid phone access, landline or dependable cell phone. Availability during working hours to respond to and engage with your clients. Familiarity with standard assistant tools like Google Docs, GCAL, Microsoft Word, Excel and Outlook, etc. The company also advertises to their clients that all of the assistants are thoroughly screened and are college educated. Hence, if you're not a college graduate, currently in college, or at least have some college education, you may not be able to get on here. Equipment. You need a computer, internet access, and a phone. Remember that some of the work you do will be scheduling appointments, reservations, booking flights, etc., so a phone line will probably be necessary for these reasons. Zirtual hires people from the U.S. only at this time. People from all states appear to be welcome to apply. Conclusion 
Freelance websites such as People Per Hour, Freelancers, Virtual, Fiverr, and Guru allow you to make money online without investing. For most, you can sign up and fill in the relevant information and start sending proposals for jobs you are interested in. All you need is your skills and internet. Most of the skills in demand are content writing, social media management, marketing, and website design. If you have any of these, then you can sell your skill and make money online. These freelance platforms have policies that will protect you and potential employers. Email marketing. Email marketing is a powerful tool for acquiring, engaging, and retaining customers to help your business thrive. Email marketing occurs when a company sends a commercial message to a group of people by use of electronic mail, most commonly through advertisements, requests for business or sales or donation solicitation. Any communication is considered email marketing if it helps to build customer loyalty, trust in a product or company or brand recognition. Email marketing is an efficient way to stay connected with your clients while also promoting your business. With email marketing, you can easily and quickly reach target markets without the need for large quantities of print space, television or radio time, or high production costs. Thanks to effective email marketing software, you can maintain an email list that has been segmented based on several factors, including the length of time addresses have been on the list, customers' likes and dislikes, spending habits, and other important criteria. Emails are then created and sent out to specifically targeted members of your email list, providing them with a personalized email detailing information that they are interested in or have requested. This helps promote trust and loyalty to a company while also increasing sales. Types of Email Marketing Campaigns Email Newsletters Email newsletters are some of the most common and popular forms of email marketing. You can use email newsletters to provide your subscribers with timely, expected, and helpful updates from your brand. You can include how-tos, announcements about your product or service, insider peeks into your business, or any other engaging content that adds value to your subscribers' inboxes. The benefits of email newsletters are increased retention and engagement, deepening of your relationships with subscribers, strengthening subscriber loyalty and their likelihood to recommend you. Acquisition Emails Leverage acquisition emails to drive trial and sign-ups among those who have opted into your emails but haven't converted. Send compelling offers or information to show them the value of becoming a paid or active customer. Acquisition emails are a good way to grow your business, drive revenue, move leads through the conversion funnel faster, and focus your efforts on users who have expressed interest in what you offer. Retention Emails Retention emails are a powerful way to keep hard-won users or customers active. Send a special message to subscribers who haven't opened an email from you lately. Perhaps include a special offer or request feedback. Strong retention emails help you increase retention and engagement. Proactively reach out to at-risk users and show customers you value their business. Promotional emails. Create promotional emails to drive sales or signups, or to announce a new offering or special sale to entice your audience. Promotional offers are also a great way to encourage existing customers to try something new. High-impact promotional emails are a great tool to reward engaged subscribers with special offers, drive new product or service adoption, and cross-sell existing products to your customer base. Effective Email Marketing Steps Email marketing campaigns can be a very powerful marketing tool. Marketers need to handle them with care. Therefore, here is an effective detailed step-by-step -step process for carrying out an effective email campaign. Step 1. Emphasis on the creation of informative content. Sending an email containing content that the target audience does not require will not grab the attention of the readers. Step 2. Focus on compatibility. An email that cannot reach the audience in the form it was meant will never be of much use. Therefore, marketers should focus on basic points about email compatibility. Step 3. Segment the target audience. While it might sound easy to send a single email to all the people in a business email list, it is not advisable to do so. Emails are meant to be personal. Therefore, marketers should try to take advantage of this potential. Segmentation through email works just like any other form of segmentation. Step 4. Use tracking tools. Once an email marketing campaign has been employed, the next step is to track the results. 
Tracking helps determine the effectiveness of the whole email marketing campaign. It helps an email marketing campaign become more effective in the long run. How to make money with email marketing Email marketing can be one of the most powerful ways to make money on the Internet. However, you must do it correctly. Read on to discover how you can be the invited guest and get the most from email marketing. The opting list When people choose the option to be included in your email list, that's called an opt-in. They are opting in to receive commercial messages from you. That means you've got their permission to send them offers. This is important because it protects you from being labeled a spammer. It strengthens the potential customer's likelihood of purchasing. Always begin any email marketing campaign with a form that allows people to give you their email address. This is the basis for list building. The message. Once you get someone to raise their hand and say, yes, tell me more, I'm interested in what you have to offer, you've opened them up to hearing your pitch. Make sure your offer is something they are interested in. If you find that your email offers are converting well, then you'll be making money. On the other hand, you might not be so happy with the results. If not, use the list and give customers a survey. Ask the customers what they would like. It's important to craft your message and offer to be attractive to your list. Repeated Communication To make the most money from your email list, you'll need to send repeated communications. An email is a busy form of communication. Your email may be sitting among 20 others and get overlooked the first time. To make repeated communications more successful, vary the message and subject. However, keep the same offer. An autoresponder can help out there. By setting up a series of timed emails to go to each person after they sign up, you can set the repeated communications on autopilot. Testing If you sign up for an email marketing service, you may be able to test different campaigns and see which one performs better. While you may think one is better than the other, test results give you the truth. The most important thing to test is the headline and the subject of the email. It's surprising how simple shifts in the subject line can allow your email to be opened before any others. Test them to discover which one gives you the best response. That's an overview of how to make money through email marketing. Moreover, email is very difficult for your competitors to copy because it's not openly published like a web page. Use these as the foundation for list building and you'll see more success using email. Webinar Marketing Webinar marketing is simply promoting and testing your products to prospects and customers over the Internet. The evidence is clear. Webinars are the fastest and easiest way to conduct business online, regardless of whatever niche you are in. Webinar marketing is one of the best ways to build trust with your audience. This is powerful because as we move our leads through the buyer's journey, trust is one of the biggest factors that will determine whether they will buy our products or services or your competitors. Four easy steps for creating your webinar. Webinars are one of the most effective communication tools of all time. Imagine creating your own webinar and presenting your ideas, products, or services to a group of people at the same time. You are just a few easy steps away from maximum communication efficiency. Step 1. Create a webinar presentation that gets people to take action. Every webinar should have a call to action. That call to action could be, go to my website and buy my product, or it could be, pick up the phone and schedule an appointment. But the goal of every webinar is to get the webinar attendee to do something. Never forget this. You'll need to create a webinar PowerPoint presentation that entertains, informs, and has a clear call to action at the end. What do you want them to do? Well, tell them exactly what to do and how to do it at the end of your webinar. This is the first rule of webinar development. Step 2. Choose a webinar hosting company. Choose a webinar hosting company that accommodates your needs and your budget. There are quite a few to choose from. If you anticipate less than 1,000 attendees and you plan on doing several webinars in a year, I suggest go to webinar. Step 3. Set up your webinar. Once you have chosen a webinar host, you need to know how to set up the webinar. The webinar host will have a setup page that will ask you for a webinar title, description, date, and time. 
It will also ask you to set up any polls or surveys. Polls are a great way to generate interaction with your attendees. A good poll question would be, what is stopping you from achieving success in your topic? You would then show four obstacles and allow them to choose the most important obstacle to them. This is a great way to get your attendees to admit that they have a problem that is not easily solved. When you show the results of the poll live on the webinar, it is great social proof that they are not alone and that many also struggle with this problem. They are also in a better place to ask for help by purchasing your products or services. Step 4. Upload your registration web page. After you set up your webinar, you need to invite your attendees. You can use the generic registration page that the webinar hosting company gives you, or you can create your own. I prefer to create my own so that I can control the look and feel of the registration page. This also allows me to differentiate myself from all the other webinars out there. Reasons why a webinar is a great marketing tool. Webinars are convenient. On-demand webinars are quite convenient to have because at this point, everyone has an online connection and a means to access it. Chances are, many of your business colleagues, partners, and customers have internet access as well. Conducting webinars allows you to connect with everyone around the world without them having to leave their home. Webinars can create and increase brand awareness. Brand awareness is a concept that involves making audiences more aware of a brand or product through consistent promotion, advertisements, marketing, and labeling focused on a single theme, message, or identity. Having a webinar set up will allow your audiences to have a visual image of your brand, resulting in a bigger consumer base when everything is said and done. Webinars establish your credibility. By having a webinar, you'll be able to give more credibility to your ideas. The simple act of putting on webinars will allow you, the people you're talking to, and the people who are watching, to understand your concepts and establish agreements. You're presenting and sharing ideas in a forum of like-minded people, building upon them, and even widening your viewpoints of the world around you. Webinars have huge applications on training and education. Webinar live streams and webcasts can include how-to videos that showcase training in various fields of study and concepts. It's the sort of training that can be done online, broadcasted live and in real time, plus archived for posterity, and offers immediate feedback from the viewer with questions through real-time comments. Webinars help build a bigger audience and contact list. Just like with podcasts or simply having a YouTube channel, every webinar you make forges new contacts. Webinars allow you and other presenters to build an audience in the form of viewers or even other people on your panel. How to make money with webinars. An increasingly popular idea in today's economy is to make money with webinars. They are extremely powerful tools used to introduce new products and build lists of followers for your business. If you are thinking about increasing sales, using webinars is a great idea. Topic selection. You can run a webinar on just about anything. However, you want to be fluent in the topic you choose. After all, you are advertising your business, so talk about things you know. Present on your business, advertising, clients, network marketing, etc. Remember, this list is as limitless as your talents. Promotion. Once you decide on the topic, you'll need to market it so people will attend. I've seen the best webinars completely unattended due to poor marketing. Don't let this happen to you. The easiest way to do this is via social networking sites such as Twitter, Facebook, or MySpace, your blog, and through email blasts. Another excellent way to promote is by posting on topic-related forums. Incentives. One surefire way to ensure and increase your webinar attendance is to offer them something of value for attending. They should know it's free, and they will only receive it at the end of the presentation. The presentation. You want to keep the attention of your audience. If you choose a PowerPoint, make sure you use bullet points, graphs, and statistics to hook their focus. Keep the delivery upbeat, energetic, and engaging. Never use PowerPoint slides that have paragraphs. If you are using the teleseminar to introduce a new product or line, show them how much they need it. Preparation Always know in advance what you will be saying. Note cards, prompts, and practice is the rule. You don't want to appear to be fumbling around. You want to act and look as professional as you can while staying on task. The Closing After presenting, you'll want to give your webinar participants the opportunity to ask questions. 
Also, you'll want to exchange contact information, and perhaps you might want to give your business a plug. By now, your audience will trust you, so don't come on too strong with the sales pitch. You want everyone to feel as if they've received something for attending. Welcome to Section 4 of our Make Money Online video training. In this section, we'll talk about info product launching, software product launching, creating and selling high-ticket products, establishing an online business empire with Fiverr, and launching your coaching program. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Info product launching. Creating a product that does very well in the market can be a difficult and time-consuming task. If the products are created well, its success is pretty much guaranteed in the market. The fastest type of product to create is an information product. Information products include all kinds of books, reports, etc. In the internet context, this term refers to electronically deliverable, knowledge-based products such as ebooks, email courses, and downloadable reports. Once you gain experience on how to write simple reports, you can make quite a decent amount of money selling these reports for profit. If you decide to create an info product to sell on the internet, the main advantages are Information products can be created with little or no money. They can be easily reproduced in any quantity. It's as simple as copying a file. With information, inventory problems and other storage expenses are not present. Shipping products are eliminated. Info products can be delivered quickly to the customers after they pay the money by providing them with a link to download. Creating and selling information products can be an easy way to earn money online. The internet is a medium which makes it easy for us to promote and deliver our info products. You can create info products on any subject. You can pick topics related to your knowledge, experience, or passion. Info Product Launching Strategies Product launching strategies are important because given a choice between a trickle of money on day one or a huge flood of money, which would you prefer? The only difference between the two is a few minutes of extra work. Contact list owners. Critical to leveraging your efforts and generating the biggest amount of buzz about your soon-to-be-released product is to contact email list owners in your niche. These relationships will be invaluable, and they alone will be responsible for you making thousands of dollars on launch day. The best way is to sign up to their list and reply to the first email. Sometimes you may need to go to whois.sc to look up their registration email address. Freeline Content Create some free content in a variety of media, for example, free PDF reports, free audio interviews, and YouTube video trailers. Give away this free content and get your affiliates to send it out to their email lists, too. When you do this, you'll establish a good reputation and generate a lot of buzz. Tools. Make sure that you have enough tools for your affiliates. I'm talking about banners, keyword lists, and ready-to-plug-in emails. Announcements. Send out press releases on launch day and post in forum sections where announcements are allowed. At the same time, get your email list owning affiliates to send out broadcasts. During this time, you should have been creating your list too and have it ready to use on launch day. Software Product Launching Software refers to a program or a set of instructions and applications used to manage and control various functions of a device, such as a computer. Software is a generic term for organized collections of computer data and instructions, often broken into two major categories, system software that provides the basic, non-task specific functions of the computer, and application software, which is used by users to accomplish specific tasks. Great Software Launching Strategies to Follow Software launching is one of the most important aspects of business. If you want to launch a brand new piece of software for your business, then you should follow some strategies that can help your business grow. You should have a successful launching strategy pre-planned so that you can generate some fine results on the go. In this video, we're going to talk in particular about great software launch strategies that can help your business grow. Software Website 
you should first get started with a fundamental and well-crafted website that helps your visitors get complete information regarding the software. However, the importance of launching a website is quite immense, and you can make the most out of this launch by opting for the right options. On the website, you can offer all the necessary information regarding the logo design and the specifications. Software Review Sites and Discovery Networks You just have to submit the software carefully to an apt discovery network. This is exactly where your software website comes in handy. You can easily review different websites that don't come with an application. You can even include screenshots and app icons here. It will surely help you to take your earnings to a new level. Software Security Software security is something which encompasses the measures taken before the launching. There are several things that need to be done to enhance the security level a great deal. The flaws in development, design, and deployment should be taken into consideration no matter what it takes. Incentivized Downloads You have to carefully align your launch with some outstanding software downloads which are incentivized. As soon as your application gets published in different stores, you need to go for a strong marketing campaign. Think about someone who pays an amount of money for getting his application downloaded. This is what you have to do here to promote your products and services correctly. Conclusion These are some of the best things you should remember about great software launch strategies which can help your business in the long run. You must follow the right steps in this regard so that you don't face any difficulty. The Internet is the best place to look for some key information regarding a software launch. Creating and Selling High-Ticket Products Information is the hottest and can be the most expensive commodity online. People from all points of the globe are now seriously considering investing in information-based products that can help them advance in their endeavors or can help them improve the quality of their lives. Selling high-ticket products is one way to increase your online income without increasing your traffic. Of course, it is critical that you have some traffic. You can't convert zero into anything. How to Sell High-Ticket Products Understand Your Customer Base To make your marketing strategies more focused and more effective, you'll need to get to know the people you are serving. Aside from knowing their needs and demands, it's always equally important to understand their online behavior so you can easily figure out the best tools to use when promoting your high-ticket products. Do they go online often? What forums do they usually visit? How often do they use the search engines? Do they depend on articles when looking for information they need? What are the search terms that they usually use when they are searching for specific information online? Use ebook writing. Before you can get online users to purchase your high ticket products, you'll need to prove yourself to them. You have to convince them that you are really good at what you do and that you can offer them the right kind of information they need. Give them a sneak peek of what you can offer by giving away ebooks that are loaded with valuable and useful information. Ensure that you put the URL of the product page or website to make it hassle-free for your potential clients to make a purchase should they become interested in what you offer. Use article writing. You need to be a great source of information when selling high-ticket information products. You may share your knowledge online through article writing. Produce well-written, content-rich, highly informative, and keyword-rich articles and post them on your blog, website, and on submission sites. Video marketing. You can easily promote product awareness while establishing your expertise in your chosen niche by creating a video that can show your prospects how they can use your products. You may post your videos to popular sites like YouTube. Steps to increase your high-ticket sales Increase your prices These days, people associate the quality of an item based on its price tag. Since people are more concerned with quality, they are most likely to go with more expensive products than purchasing cheap, low-quality items. Potential Clients You'll need to know how to influence the buying decision of your target market. Talk about your products. This is one of the best ways to give your high-ticket products the exposure they need. Resort to an infomercial. If you are selling physical products and you are targeting people from one specific geographic location, an infomercial just might work to increase your sales. Go with telemarketing. Aside from the internet, the other best way to get a hold of your clients is by calling them. To make sure that they won't hang up on you, tell them ahead of time who you are and what you offer. (music) 
Establishing an Online Business Empire with Fiverr With the modern technological trend, millions of people want to start their own business online. The reason for that is more and more people realize that entrepreneurship may be the only way to their heart's desire. That being said, more and more people are wondering how they can go about starting a business online. Creating an online business empire is easier than most people think. It's easier than starting a business offline. The reason is that starting a business online doesn't have the big headaches that come with starting a business offline. Selling Procedure on Fiverr Fiverr has become a favorite platform for freelancers looking to kickstart their first online business empire by offering their services based on their expertise to earn extra income or as a full-time job. The following steps will aid in establishing your business empire with Fiverr. If you're a seller and want to sell your service or any product on Fiverr, or you're a beginner and want to learn how to sell on Fiverr, all you need to do is register on Fiverr, make an account, log in, and get started. Once you log into Fiverr, you'll need to select the category which best suits your service or gig. After selecting a category, you need to click on the Create a Gig button. Now, a form will appear, and Fiverr will instruct you on the step-by-step -step procedure of creating a gig. Once your gig is created on Fiverr, you are then visible to all the customers and anyone who can approach you and order your services. Once a buyer confirms the order, the seller should deliver the gig in the committed time to leave a positive impact on the customer. The registration, creating a gig, and starting to sell are all very easy on Fiverr. Offer more gigs. One thing that you should avoid on Fiverr is losing customers. You should offer more than one gig on Fiverr. Let's say a client clicks on your gig and it doesn't satisfy their needs. Well, rather than lose that client, you can show other gigs as a promotion, and there's a chance that the client may like one of your other gigs. When a client clicks on a gig and checks the description of the gig, Fiverr shows the client all other gigs available by the same seller on the side of the page. A seller should have more than one gig available for sale on Fiverr. A bonus offer. For sellers on Fiverr, to get a good sale and attract clients, you can give some bonus offers with your gig. The bonus offer should be of use to the client. For example, a seller who is doing a gig on business counseling can give an ebook bonus offer for his first 10 clients, or a seller who is offering a five photo editing gig can give one free photoshopped image bonus offer for the first few clients. Get customers' feedback. If you are a seller on Fiverr and want to excel as a seller, then you need to give value to your customers. Once they order your gig, deliver their gig. This is the start of your relationship as a seller with a client. You should ask for their feedback. A customer's feedback is a key to success because they can admire your work or criticize your work. In case of criticism, use it to improve your work and quality. Another advantage of positive feedback for your gig is that other clients and buyers can view it, and it will raise your overall gig's rating. Conclusion Establishing a business empire with Fiverr will allow you to start generating income online as quickly as possible from the comfort of your own home. Launching Your Coaching Program Coaching, or the process of helping other people through information distribution, can have a great and lifelong impact on those people who are being coached. As a coach and as an expert in your chosen niche, you can pass your gifts or skills to others by simply launching your online coaching program. Coaching is often associated with sports. However, it can also be used in helping other people improve their personal lives or advance in their chosen careers. Anyone can be a coach or a trainer, as long as they have great information to share that can potentially bring a huge difference to the lives of their target audience. Ways of Creating a Coaching Program There are two primary ways to create coaching program lessons. One way is to create them ahead of time, like how you would create an informational product to sell. For example, if you are going to launch a 13-week coaching program, you would create 13 coaching lessons ahead of time. Another way is to create the lessons as your clients require them. For example, if you have a 13-week coaching program, you create the first lesson the first week, the second lesson the second week, and so on. If you create lessons as you need them, the first time you offer coaching, you can use the now-created lessons for future classes in your coaching program. Here's how you can increase your coaching programs. Focus on one niche. The first thing that you need to do is choose a type of coaching that you are deeply passionate about. 
Although there is no hard and fast rule that prevents you from creating coaching programs for different topics, having a specific audience in mind will dramatically help to easily label yourself as an expert in your chosen field. Explore resources that can help you improve your coaching skills. At this time, there are still no official coaching schools in any part of the globe. However, you can improve on your craft by taking classes that can help you improve your interpersonal relationships and can give you basic information about psychology so you can easily connect with your trainees. Create your website. You'll need to do this so you can easily advertise your coaching programs online. To make your website extra powerful, you may consider visiting other relevant websites and analyze what elements work and what doesn't in those sites. Analyze by putting yourself in the shoes of a potential client. Choose the best channels. There are various methods of coaching that you can choose from, so you can increase your chances of attracting more clients. Although most coaching programs are now being done by email or phone, you may also opt to offer face-to-face -face coaching to better serve those people who may want to get a more detailed approach. Build and strengthen your online reputation. To easily earn the trust of your prospects, consider offering them free coaching sessions so they can gauge if you are the best solution to their problems. You may also build an impressive online portfolio and even obtain testimonials from your most satisfied clients that you could post on your website. Welcome to Section 5 of our Make Money Online video training. In this section, we'll talk about 10 Do's to Apply, 10 Don'ts to Avoid, Premium Tools and Services to Consider, and Shocking Case Studies. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. 10 Do's to Apply Most businesses understand that content is an extremely important part of their online marketing success, but not all businesses know how to use their content properly to get the most profitable effect. The problem is further complicated by the fact that there's a lot of outdated or bad advice circulating. It isn't always easy to know which bits can be trusted. Luckily, we've sorted out the wheat from the chaff for you. Here are the things you must do if you plan to be successful with online marketing. Invest in building your online presence. Guess what happens when an employer in the digital industry searches for your name on Google and sees nothing? If you don't have profiles built and optimized for LinkedIn, Twitter, etc., or even a personal blog or website to showcase who you are and what you stand for, folks are going to question your commitment to digital and social media. When you say you are passionate about digital, don't just pay it lip service. Own it by getting active in it. Identify your audience. This is the first and most crucial step. You have to know what the interests of your customers are and what they are most likely to type into a search engine when looking for the type of service you offer. This will allow you to target your marketing strategy directly to the people who are willing to commit to purchasing, signing up for, or contacting you directly. There are various excellent online tools that can help make your marketing strategy much more effective. You can use the basic tools that Google offers to find out what people search for most and which keywords don't have a lot of strong competition, so that you won't have to fight for a good position in SERPs. Where you could reach your customers. Most people use social media fairly regularly today, which makes this the perfect place to search for customers. However, it is very important to be present on several different social media platforms. This will help you promote your website in different ways, from sharing blog posts on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn, to pinning pictures on Pinterest, and posting videos on YouTube and engaging fans in the comments. This also depends on the product or service you are offering. For example, if you are running an online clothing store, it is much better to reach out to your audience on websites such as Instagram and Pinterest than on Facebook. This is a very important thing to research and experiment with. The best way is to test multiple social media sites and analyze the data you've acquired. This will give you a clear picture of where you can reach the majority of your customers. How do you find that audience? Start by identifying the problem your product or service solves. Next, list the characteristics of an average customer to pinpoint your target market. It's also important to know who makes up your primary audience. 
They are the ones who need your product or service the most. For example, if your business specializes in home security systems, your primary customer may live in a residential area with a high crime rate. Fit your content into a cohesive marketing strategy. Great content scattered all over the place will have some effect. You'll likely have some sparkling successes, but you'll also have your fair share of mediocrity too. When you have a cohesive marketing strategy in place and know exactly what you want to achieve, you'll find it easy to align your content with your business goals. That way, everything will be working towards a common ideal, and you will have a much greater chance of achieving it. Take steps to increase web traffic to your site. The internet has become a dog-eat-dog -dog world when it comes to driving customers to your website. The competition is fierce, and it's every business for itself. What is business to do? In cyberspace, content is king. Use it to entice potential customers to visit your site. Make it easy for visitors to share their experiences on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media sites. Including an irresistible offer and a call to action on each page can also drive web traffic. Make sure your visitors know exactly what it is you want them to do. It could be signing up for an e-newsletter or a free 15-minute consultation. Offering something that relates to your business and appeals to your target market is another way to increase web traffic. It can be a free ebook, white paper, or anything that's been specifically written for your target customer. Always analyze. The best thing about online marketing is that you can take advantage of numerous online tools to get incredibly accurate data about the effects of your campaign. You can easily check how much time users spend on your website and how many of them make a purchase. Based on this data, you can easily adjust your website and your marketing campaign to make them more effective. A detailed analysis should follow every single change you make. These online marketing tips are going to make your business blossom. However, you can always turn to sponsored posts on other blogs, ad campaigns, and other available forms of paid advertising. Even though it takes a little bit of investment, by following detailed data about your marketing campaign, you can maximize your ROI. The choice is yours. Whatever you decide to go for, pay attention to the little details, and you're certainly going to improve your business. Boost your website ranking. Search engines continue to drive the majority of visitors to websites. That's why it's important to have a website that is search engine friendly. Also, every page should be optimized and designed for mobile search. Keywords and keyword phrases also play a critical role in boosting your website ranking. Keywords are what someone types into a search engine such as Google, Yahoo Search, Ask or Bing when they're searching for something. Generate a list of keywords or phrases people might use to find your website. Take advantage of tools like the Google Keyword Tool to get an idea of the most searched phrases. Integrate several of them throughout your websites and titles, content, even rename your images to contain the keywords or phrase. Another way to boost your website ranking is by adding captions to your pictures and images that incorporate your keywords. Add an alt tag to describe the image. Don't forget to include the same keyword phrase in the text near the image. Search engines want to be sure users have access to the most up-to-date information. Be sure your website content is regularly updated. This tells search engines that your site is ever-changing and current. Like it or not, internet marketing is here to stay. In the future, it will become an even greater force when it comes to how businesses operate. Whether you're new to online marketing or a seasoned professional, implementing these strategies can help you break down barriers and use this modern communication tool for your advantage. And don'ts to avoid. With marketing, success often depends on knowing what not to do, as well as knowing what you should do. Today, there are numerous online marketing opportunities, many of which are self-service. While that's convenient, it can make it too easy for a company to get an advertising campaign up and running. In fact, it might be so easy that a company doesn't take the time to think things through, and ends up making a serious marketing mistake that can derail a campaign altogether. Here are online marketing mistakes you should make an effort to avoid. Thinking pre-internet marketing simply needs to be moved online. Successful online marketing doesn't just mean taking what worked before the internet and moving it online. The truth is, people behave differently with the internet and mobile devices than they did with old media. Potential customers have more control, choices, and information than ever, 
and what worked when print and television were dominant can't just be moved online and expected to perform. Successful digital marketing must be relevant, and it must reach the people it's relevant to. Achieving this requires smart use of marketing data and an Internet age approach to marketing. Failing to develop a plan to monitor the marketing campaign. It's not uncommon for a business owner to develop a great marketing plan that has all of the bells and whistles on it. From designing an innovative social media campaign to ensuring the website has been appropriately optimized for the major search engines. A lot of work goes into the initial planning. Even though the marketing campaign has been well thought out for deployment, the owner may not see the need to following through with a plan to monitor the marketing campaign on an ongoing basis, which means the success of the overall campaign may be compromised needlessly. To avoid these problems, the business owner and their representatives should develop a solid plan that will monitor the campaign's success from the initial startup. This ongoing plan is designed to identify and pinpoint areas that may need to be changed. Specifically, the opportunities that have the potential for capturing a larger target audience. For instance, the business owner may need to spend a little bit more money to get the maximum benefits in their social marketing strategy. Simply stated, with only an additional small investment, the campaign may draw in more visitors from LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Excluding tools that provide measurable data. Another pitfall that business owners can avoid is excluding tools that can provide the business with essential measurable data. Fortunately, there is a lot of great information online, along with valuable tools to develop, launch, and monitor a marketing campaign for virtually any business venture. These marketing tools can be used for many different purposes, and they are needed to see how the marketing campaign is performing. Some of the most important tools are being provided by third-party vendors, as well as by major players like Google. These tools are available to give the business owners and their marketing specialists specific information about how many visitors access the site, as well as how long these visitors remain on the site looking around. Based on the complexity of the tools, the site owner will have an opportunity to see if the sales for their products have changed dramatically since the marketing campaign was deployed. You fail to choose a unique brand name. You need a truly unique brand to match your ambitious projections. Be sure to research the market so that you are certain no one else already has your brand name and check that a suitable .com domain is available. Even the biggest companies can make the mistake of not having done enough market research for a unique brand name. Having something unique would get people interested. You fail to have a backup plan. It is very common for people, even business owners, to undervalue their data. It won't happen to me, you may think. Though you may be able to avoid a fire or a flood, what about a Trojan that remotely infects your files, one by one, until you can no longer access your data? You are more vulnerable than you think. Even huge international companies have their mishaps. So always have a backup solution in place for these inevitable situations. You fail to proofread your copy. Don't underestimate the importance of proofreading everything before you publish it. Don't think that it is up to the web developer to pick up on errors. It is vital that you eliminate all typos and grammatical errors so that your text is readable and free-flowing. You can improve your grammar by using a range of easily accessible online tools and grammar guides. Alienating Search Engines Almost everyone understands the value of search engine optimization, but many websites remain woefully inept at utilizing all of the SEO tools available for efficient and effective optimization. For example, a site that prioritizes the company name is less likely to achieve search engine ranking as high as a site that focuses on more generic terms. The more specific you are in your SEO keywords, the more specific the terms will need to be to point to your site. Focus on a general stable of keywords that deal broadly with your company's services. This way, you'll be able to appear before potential customers that may not understand the most specific aspects of your business. Rely on your site's content to handle the specifics. Ignoring analytics. Analytics is an area that commonly causes anxiety among business owners. Many business owners assume analytics is an overly complicated arena and choose to ignore the valuable data that can be referenced and acted upon. Analytics is simply a measure of your internet marketing campaign's effectiveness. Resources are finite and time can be stretched thin. Therefore, analytics allow you to view the progress of your various internet marketing endeavors and give you the opportunity to direct your energy toward those areas that bear the most fruit. Targeting the wrong audience. 
This is a big mistake in the marketing arena. Marketing is just not about spreading the product around the world. A perfect marketer is one who makes an in-depth study of the product, including research of its reach. Have you ever thought about why the big brands like Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, etc. are so successful? I know we never think about it, but let me tell you, they have a complete plan. They know their audience. They have a perfect team who just analyzes the strong demographic conventions. That's why those brands rocket into the sky faster and are leading the world. Marketing is not just about getting featured in magazines, top sites, and publications. It consists of a certain life cycle. Just like a system development life cycle, marketing works the same. If you want to make your marketing campaign successful, then you must take a look at your audience. The selection of the wrong audience will lead you towards failure. Premium Tools and Services to Consider Online marketing tools refers to any online software or portal that you can use to create, build, manage, and promote an online business within the internet marketing arena. It is true to say that almost every job completed by any piece of software could be done by hand. The software is typically designed to automate the process and save considerable time for the user. Consider these premium online marketing tools that can help you skyrocket your online money making. Social Media Tools Buffer Buffer is a social media management tool that will help you streamline your social posting efforts. We already know how powerful social media is for your marketing initiatives, but leveraging a tool like Buffer will help you increase your followers, engage your audience, and build your brand. The benefit of Buffer is its ability to let you connect multiple accounts to one dashboard. Buffer's free plan is perfect for new businesses looking to grow their social presence. To unleash the full power of the software, you might want to consider one of their upgraded plans. Hootsuite Hootsuite is a great tool. You can use the scheduler to pre-schedule your posts for a specific date and time, and you can preview how it will look. Using Hootsuite's streams, you can view all of your posts on all of your networks in a visual format, which makes it super easy to keep track of what you're posting and where. You can also track your campaign's analytics, a handy feature for those who are regularly reporting the success of their social media campaigns. File Management Tools Dropbox Dropbox has become a favorite tool for businesses, because it makes sharing documents with others extremely simple. This personalized cloud-based tool increases productivity since you can share folders in real time, which makes collaboration among team members a breeze. Dropbox offers a free basic plan that features two gig of space. If you need more space, you'll have to bump up either to the Pro $9.99 or Business Plans $15. Organizational Tools Evernote Arguably, there is no more versatile tool for online marketers than Evernote. Whether it's researching notes, resources, or to-do lists, Evernote makes the research and outline process of content writing a breeze. Whether it's writing down notes for a business presentation or collaborating with a project with team members, Evernote replaces the endless amounts of paper that used to fill up your desk. Evernote can be reached on any device, so you can work on your projects while at the airport and then finish them up when you get back home to your laptop. Plus, I didn't even mention the neat dictation feature either. Grammarly Grammarly is your free writing app that ensures everything you type is easy to read, effective, and mistake-free. As you type, Grammarly will underline any spelling or grammatical errors and help you fix them on the fly. Human editors are great. Built-in spell checkers are nice. However, neither are perfect. It's good to add another layer of editing to your writing, and Grammarly is the answer. This powerful tool automatically checks anything you write or publish in an internet browser. Email Marketing Tools MailChimp Email marketing is imperative to the success of most businesses. While building a brand on platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are important, you're limited to the constraints of those channels. This makes it particularly difficult to move consumers through a funnel and provides you with relatively little control. However, email provides a more intimate interaction between a brand and consumers by offering you the tools you need to effectively nurture leads. 
MailChimp is an excellent free email marketing tool and one of the easiest for newbies to learn. Putsmail. Putsmail is a basic email testing premium tool, but you can get some good information about your HTML using this tool. Instead of sending yourself countless email copies, use Putsmail to see an immediate function preview of your next campaign. SEO Tools Google Trends Google Trends is another neat Google product. This free tool enables you to search for keywords based on volume and identify the potential of different short and long tail search terms. Moz Moz is another SEO tool that's super easy to use and navigate. You can see how your keywords are ranking, compare keywords side by side to see how they compare against one another, and see which search engines are sending traffic to your site right from your dashboard. KeywordTool.io Keywords are one of the cornerstones of every SEO or marketing campaign. Use KeywordTool.io to see a list of useful and relative long-tail keywords that may be useful to help target customers. Analytics and Optimization Tools Google Analytics Google Analytics is indispensable for monitoring the results of your website traffic and where that traffic comes from. The graph view is especially handy to visually see when your website traffic goes up and down so you can better understand how to capitalize on the actions that caused traffic to increase. With Google Analytics URL Builder, you can create unique links for individual influencers. This gives you a simple way of tracking social media efforts and tying them to revenue. It's an easy-to-use tool with lots of value beneath the surface. Visual Content Tools PictoChart PictoChart is a wonderful little program that allows you to create graphic design-worthy infographics. It's pretty user-friendly, and you don't have to be a designer to end up with a beautiful infographic. It stores all of them in your account, so you can edit them at any time. That is great for those clients who require 60,000 changes. Prezi Prezi is another great way to create visual content easily. Prezi is a super cool presentation application that runs on the cloud. If you want to create out-of-the-box content that displays information in an engaging, interesting way, try Prezi. Canva Not everyone can afford to hire a graphic designer, but nearly all of us can learn to do some basic design ourselves. Canva makes design easy and fast. Its tagline, Amazingly Simple Graphic Design Software, is spot on. Canva's templates are optimized for social media, and they are stunning. With just a few customizing clicks, you're all set with eye-popping visual content. Canva charges nothing to use the cloud-based software. If you use premium elements, you can pay as you go. Canva for Work is an advanced feature of the tool that charges a monthly subscription of $12.95. Survey Tools SurveyMonkey SurveyMonkey is one of the most popular free online premium survey tools. Surveys are a good way to collect consumer information, engage customers, uncover trends, and secure tangible insights on your business. SurveyMonkey's software is incredibly simple. In just minutes, you can design, create, and publish your business survey. Additionally, you'll be able to analyze the results in the back end. Shocking Case Studies The Internet offers some great money-making opportunities for individuals with computer knowledge and the skills required to thrive in this online medium. Utilizing the Internet and having a strong online presence makes connecting with fans and earnings much more achievable. Below are some great case studies of marketers who found success through an online campaign. Affiliate Marketing Case Study Many people like to think of creating an online income and financial freedom with affiliate marketing. While this is certainly possible, you must start small and build your business from the ground up. This is an affiliate case study of how you can make $500 per month. Step 1. Write 10 articles about a niche ClickBank product that are keyword-rich with effective titles. The title will ensure that your article gets a lot of clicks. Step 2. Find 5 other ClickBank products that have nothing to do with making money online and promote them with eBay classified ads. An eBay classified ad only costs $9.95 and runs for 30 days. This is a tremendous value because each ad will probably make you $60 to $80 in profit. 
If you put these two systems together and send your customers to your affiliate link with the articles and the eBay classified ads, then you should see $500 a month, which is proven by this affiliate case study. My friend Clark used this exact method, and the results were as follows. Five sales from the product he promoted with articles totaled $133.60, and all of that was straight profit requiring no investment but time. Of the five different products he promoted with eBay classified ads, he made a total of 13 sales, averaging $35.14 per sale, totaling $456.82. Add these numbers together, and you have an affiliate marketing case study that made $590.42 in gross sales. The five eBay classified ads cost a total of $49.75. As you can see, he made about $10 for every dollar that he spent with eBay classifieds, which is a phenomenal ROI. Fiverr Case Study Getting started on Fiverr is quick and easy, which made it convenient. This setup appeals to side hustlers who don't want to spend a lot of time getting started on a platform to make some money. Getting featured on the homepage involves some criteria, including a unique offer with a broad appeal. On the homepage, Fiverr needs to showcase the breadth of services people can find on the site something that people might be surprised to get for $5, and a proven high converting offer. Fiverr tracks a rolling 30-day conversion rate for each gig, meaning the percentage of people who view your offer and end up buying it, a higher than average order value, and excellent feedback. The final criteria that make my top five factors to get on the Fiverr homepage is a history of excellent feedback. You probably need to shoot as close to 100% positive reviews as you can. On top of that, you must have a high percentage of customers leaving positive feedback versus none at all. In total, the exposure generated 80 orders in 10 days for a total of $1,150 in revenue. After Fiverr's cut, I cleared $920. The average order value was $14.37. The majority of the revenue came from a minority of the customers. 25% of the customers generated 70% of the income. Not quite 80-20, but close. Email Marketing Case Study When you combine email marketing with a good idea and solid data, the results can be tremendous, and those results might only be the beginning. Casemate tested a flash sale in early December and increased revenue by 236%. Then the team relaunched two weeks later and more than doubled the first sales conversion rate. The first flash sale was a big success. The changes the team made for the second sale pushed its conversion rate even higher. We saw revenue, traffic, and all conversion metrics we measure go up, which was exciting to see, the company said. The numbers, as far as conversion rate, were pretty consistent between the two. The second one was slightly higher, but the first one still performed well. Here's how the first sale performed compared to Casemate's average metrics. 51% increase in traffic, 50% increase in conversion rate, purchases divided by visits to the landing page, and a 236% increase in revenue. Here's how the second sale performed against the previous team's averages. 5% increase in traffic, 105% increase in conversion rate, purchases divided by visits to the landing page, and a 78% increase in revenue. Selling some stuff case study. Affiliate marketing is an online marketing method where website owners promote third-party products on their websites or blogs. The Bluehost web hosting affiliate program offers one of the highest affiliate commissions. It offers $65 per sale as commissions to its affiliates through your affiliate account. If you make 10 sales through your affiliate account in a month, the amount that is payable to you would be $650. Below is the case study Harsh Sells with Bluehost. An affiliate partnership with Harsh from Shout Me Loud is one of the things that helped him make over $16,000 by promoting one product, Bluehost. Things you need to make a successful affiliate partnership. Be honest. Connect personally and let your work do the talking. Social Media Case Study Amanda Palmer is widely known for her social media expertise. Advertising Age said Palmer is more sophisticated than almost anyone on the internet, musician, brand, or otherwise, when it comes to gathering her audience around her and keeping the conversation going. On a boring Friday night, Amanda managed to rake in $11,000 in just two hours. It all started with her tweeting about how she was alone, again, on a Friday night, sitting in front of her computer. Others started chiming in and began claiming how, we are all losers. The dialogue continued and grew at a rapid pace. A faux organization was started called the Losers of Friday Night on Their Computers. 
Amanda created the hashtag LOFNOTC and thousands joined the conversation. A follower suggested the group create a t-shirt. Amanda quickly decided to run with it. She took a Sharpie and made a t-shirt design. A website was thrown up that night with the t-shirts available for $25 a piece. Two hours later, she had $11,000. What can you learn from this example? Interact with your followers and don't just mass broadcast. Be personable and share a variety of things with your fans. Always be on your toes, ready to act quickly when the opportunity arises.